Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, on the serious strategy game, and we are returning to Command Modern Operations. So I have uh, played a little bit off camera here because not much was really happening, but uh, now we are seeing a couple of planes here over this area. These are SU-27s, they are going in pretty fast, and I think they spotted a chance here because some of our guys were pulled back a little bit um, to maybe go after this U-2 and or this earlier Auburn warning platform. So I'm very much thinking that these guys are trying to hunt them down. We're gonna try to intercept them here with a flight of Eurofighters, which might not have particularly much fuel, but we are gonna try to intercept them anyway. And hopefully we're gonna be successful in doing that. Now, I've also set up a slightly different map here, uh, which I think is slightly better for this night period because otherwise everything is gonna be well, a little bit dark, but uh, do let me know what you think of that, whether you prefer that. I do kind of like to see uh, the locations here. What I dislike is that it always takes so long to sort of load that up uh, once you do zoom in. Let's see. For now, our focus here is going to be on these uh, guys and whether or not we can break them. Now, we only have a couple of minutes here until we are going to get bingo fueled. There's not much we can do about that, and there is a slight issue here in that I don't think we've got a lot of stocks of these missiles. Uh, we'll need to see whether we can, in fact, actually use some of the other AIM uh, 120s. But this variant, at least, uh, does not seem to be in great supply anymore. Um, this here is the base, is the base for the Eurofighters, and you can see, yeah, it's, it's only about two missiles left uh, at the moment, so that's uh, not necessarily great and I don't really think there's any other place. Uh, we do have a couple of Eurofighters down, down here, don't we? Hmm, you're doing that very differently. You've got the AIM-1320. Yeah, we'll need to double check what these guys can take. It might make more sense to pull in someone else uh, so that we can keep these guys here in the air, but on the other hand they've got so little fuel here uh, that I think it's actually gonna be alright. Now, since these guys have um, come back to potentially intercepting us here, I think it's going to be alright to try to fly in on normal speed. Maybe burn a little bit less fuel, I think it's going to be alright. We'll need to fuel you up anyway, but I think it's going to be alright. Let's see. Alright, um, how about your sensors? Yeah, please do use your radar, um, and actually if you do have, you can use uh, offensive OCM. But yeah, soon we should be seeing an attack here by these planes. Now, in real life, what these guys are probably going to do is spool up very, very fast here uh, with the intention of impeding some momentum on the missile that they fire. But I don't think that that is actually um, included in the game. So it's not something that we need to be worried about right now. Now, let's double check one thing here. So, yeah, you guys are set up to attack these guys like such. We could actually um, think about doing that slightly differently and pretty much focus here on, on one missile in particular. Now, this guy here is, is suddenly trying to run away here, isn't he? So let's try to close the distance here a little bit faster. I probably want to fire yet another missile here once this is circa in the middle. Maybe a little bit later. There we go. Okay, let's, let's do fire another missile here on this guy. Uh, just to keep him unbalanced, keep him pointing away from us and uh, his fire control a little bit worse off. I think that would generally be a good thing. There we go. He doesn't seem to see that missile, which is lovely. Because, uh, yeah, then he's going to run right into that. We are seeing suddenly more planes up here, so that might indicate yet another attack incoming. But we do not know. A couple of planes taking off there, that's that's alright-ish. We do have a good target lock here, I think, so yeah, there we go, nice. That's actually a two for two there, um, so that's really cool. Um, let's go back to loiter speed here. You guys actually do not need to do anything in particular. Okay, we are fine here. You guys are fine, you can go back to loiter uh, around here. By the way, are you all loitering? Yeah, you are loitering. So that is very, very nice. Yeah, we are going to see a lot more attacks here on this area, but that's probably going to be uh, more or less automatic, so I'm going to be happy about that. Let's accelerate time here. Keep an eye on what the Russians are doing, uh, and I find this area here sort of what we need to be looking at. 
Uh, but sometimes we can see them sort of suddenly appear over here and um, you know what, if we can bait them to come in... Whoa, what's going on down here? We are suddenly seeing some planes here. Now these are SC-27s. Oh, it might be that these guys were returning home? Could be, could be. Let's pull back the uh, U-2 here a little bit and see what they're going to do. Oh, I think they are coming in after this uh, Reaper here. They might also be trying to target this Reaper. So what are we going to do about that? We do have a couple of planes down here. You've got four missiles, you've got eight missiles. All of you have decent fuel. These guys seem to be coming in pretty fast. No, it's just that the time acceleration is, is kind of significant here. Mostly fighters. I'm not too worried about fighters. A sudden appearance of ground attack aircraft is, is really what would send us scrambling. But for now, that seems to be going all right. Now, I'm not sure that these guys are actually on an intercept course here. They, they seem to be going this direction, but it's not that I can see, that I can tell at least, that they would be specifically going for a particular target here. They're also just a little bit too slow. Now, these SC-27s, though, they do seem to be coming into our terrain there, so let's keep an eye on them. What are you guys going to do? And what are you guys going to do? Okay, so six planes in total. Don't know what this guy is doing. Interestingly enough, he seems to be coming in to cover this airbase, which is an interesting choice. Now, we're not seeing the enemy anti-air installations anymore, which is slightly awkward, because that means... Uh, well, they certainly haven't disappeared, so it's just that we can't see them. Right, anyone here? You know what? You guys seem to be somewhat low on fuel. Uh, let's get you over there. Cruise speed, please. Yeah, they're coming in fast here. So they have, they've uh, smelled some blood in the water. And we'll need to take that into account now. Since we are seeing more guys over there, let's try to bring our planes up there too and let's see whether we can solve two situations here in one go nice that this guy at least is returning okay apparently you are being targeted here It's just a UAV, so it's not something that we'd be totally unhappy to, to lose. Well, of course, we'd be unhappy to lose it, but we, it, it would not be a catastrophe. Right, there we go. There are also missiles here. Oh, interestingly enough, you seem to be going for these guys. Now, they are here to just bomb someone, uh, but I apparently completely missed that. So, yeah, let's go ahead here and target you guys with what what you've got one of our eagles has been just two of our eagles have been destroyed but at the very least we can now see that these guys are coming in under uh, attack here so that is nice Keep on firing at them. Let's do keep an eye on the situation up here in the north too. Yeah, well at the very least I'm hoping that these missiles are going to miss because they will now uh, need to withdraw here. So that's at least something um, that I'm hoping. A couple of bomb impacts there. These guys are doing some weird maneuvers, but I think we can catch them. There we go. Yeah, two F-15s are making it back. And at least first of all is... Ah, but now we see that they've successfully dodged the first missile here, and they're now back at tracking these F-15s. So that's not great, but I'm thinking that our missiles are going to impact soon enough um, to make their life a little bit worse. Um, in fact, I think we should start to send more missiles after them. 
just so that this gap here isn't becoming too great. Even if one missile here might do the job, we never quite know that, so... There we go. Now, you should be targeted by three missiles here soon. I'm hoping, at least, that you should be retargeting there. You're not doing that. Up over here, everything is alright still. Oh, come on now. What are you doing? Are your sensors on? Yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, we've now got a single missile flying his way. I suppose... You know what? Let's actually use our missiles on this guy here. Continue to use them. So that they can also withdraw. Yeah, he's launching, but that's not too bad if, if we are making it like this. Pretty slow missile, though. Right, situation in the north. You guys are going away, but you're not going away that fast. Let's see whether they're going to turn around at some point. Come on now. Kill him. Good. Got a good lock. Yes, very nice. You can go back to loitering, and you know what? You guys can actually return to base here. We've done well. Good. In the north, still a couple of planes here that we don't know much about. Always dislike that, of course, but eh, it's what we got. Not seeing a next launch here of anyone down there, which is interesting because I would kind of expect that to happen, actually. Now, do you want to try to catch up here? Probably not. If they're running away, they're going to be over their borders soon enough. And again, that's uh, something that we'd rather not try to escalate any further than what we're seeing already. Um, you guys are a little bit awkward here because... You've got a weird base situation, so... Your base should be here. But when you, I ask you to return home, no, you're doing that. Yeah, and there's, there's one of these planes is up over here, which is eh, really, really kind of awkward, but you're going to be all right. Uh, reasoning for these rebasing missions is, of course, that we are running low on ammunition stocks in our various of our bases, uh, which it's interesting just how much, how, through how much uh, ammunition you burn in in just a couple of days here. I mean, it's been only, I think, 13 hours. And basically all of our uh, ammo stocks are, are kind of depleted already. Ooh, you are a tanker. So you're going to be pulled in by these flankers. I'm guessing that the flankers came in burning a lot of fuel. What was that? Did someone attack over here? I don't think so. Uh, by the way, can we attack here with the... With our proper guns. Now, what's our, what's the range on our, let's say, the 140mm gun? Very, very little, it seems. So, let's get you right up there. Then we can do some shore bombardment. Because that's fun. Sorry, I'm hearing some, some sort of missile launch or something. Ah, oh, it's over here. Jasons. Yeah, okay, they're going to go there. And continue to wreck their infrastructure. Uh, at this point, there's, of course, uh, seal clubbing there because, eh, they don't have any defenses there, as far as we know, at least. Um, speaking of, uh, I do think you guys should be coming back to checking that out, actually, in a little bit more detail here. So, yeah, let's uh, zigzag over Crimea. Let's try to find any ground installations that they, that they might have remaining. More planes being launched on their side. That's okay. Yeah, you guys are now returning. That's cool. Likewise, you're returning. Um, one of uh, you guys actually also asked about the situation. So we might be uh, looking at the losses here for a second. Now, I'm going to put this up here just so I can react to anything. Now, on our side, we have lost a B1. We've lost a B52. We've lost a single Eurofighter. An F1. No, sorry, that's a frigate. Um, a couple of planes here, mostly Strike Eagles, so I'm guessing around 20 planes, maybe a little bit more. Oh, yeah, probably a little bit more. 20, 30 planes or so. 
Uh, our most significant losses were, of course, on the shipping department. There's the Ola Berke class, um, and there are at least three further ships. So four ships down, quite a number of planes down. This is this is a bloody war. There's there's no way around that. We've of course also expanded an enormous amount of material. Uh, just in, in terms of the AIM-120, so our main anti-air, so air-to-air -air missiles, we've at least expanded, that's like 450 or so? Yeah, I want to I wanna call that 450. Uh, there's also the 135 variant and so on that the British are carrying. And that's just that. We've also got all of these ground attack stuff. There's a lot of things that we've expanded here. There's a lot, there's a lot, um, including just the Tomahawk missiles that we did uh, use to uh, take out Crimea. More than 200 of these. Very, very significant. Now, on the other hand, Russia, what have they lost? They've lost a couple of buildings. That's not that important, um, including diesel bunker. But uh, let's try to find their air losses. They've lost a couple of helicopters. They've lost 54 MiG-29s. A couple of, uh, let me double check here whether this is all fighters. Yeah, it seems to be mostly fighters. Um, yeah, 18 MiG-31s. That's that's one of their best planes uh, that we've been encountering. At least it's a very fast plane. Large amount of surface-to-air missiles being lost here because we did attack them very aggressively. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple of their ships lost, including the Moscow class. But their plane losses, just look at that. 40, 16, 23, 36. I I didn't count that, but if I, I, I just eyeballed it kind of, and I think they lost around 300 planes or so. Someone might correct me down in the comments below, but that's a very significant amount of losses. That's, in real life, I think they, we, we estimate they have around 600 missiles, 600 planes or so in the broader vicinity, uh, which does include Belarus, uh, which is not part of this scenario. But yeah, in, in this scenario here, I'm guessing we killed about uh, three quarters of the Air Force. Now, of course, what we're still trying to find out is their ground attack planes that have been coming in, launching missiles against this, uh, this situation and then uh, trying to bugger off. Can we do anything to take them out, uh, keep them off balance or not? Now, that's really the big uh, question that we have over here. Look at these Jasons coming in and potentially devastating the naval base here, hopefully at least. That is what I told them to do. Um, let's also continue to check on whether there's any anything over here. Now, we have two missiles, right, that are currently not used. Now, you're just carrying different amounts of secondary missiles. Yeah, that's fine. You guys are rearming with the slammers. We probably don't need that. We don't see any more ground targets, so that's probably fine. I am somewhat worried about the amount of tankers that we have in the air. They're burning a lot of fuel, and they're um, and we've got a lot of fighters. You can see all of these tankers here doing their thing, and and a lot of them probably will still need to come home. Um, we're maintaining a large, large air fleet right now, and probably that's not the best, but is I think what we need to do to meet the next attack because otherwise we're gonna have fly time of one hand at uh, one hour just until we get to their base and we still don't don't quite manage to to support uh, our friendly troops here so first of all naval base can go to unit view here for a second I think we did destroy quite a couple of their their docking spaces here you can also see we did destroy quite a bit of their tarmac space and such yeah, various various places are pretty much devastated there, but now this is interesting because we are seeing more planes being launched, including an SQ-35 flanker here, so that's a bit new. We are seeing these guys down here, and now let's have a look at the F-35s and such. Okay, you are actually on a ferry mission here now. Can I ready arm you in? You're returning to base. Oh, wait a minute. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, that, that might have been you guys. Okay, you are coming back to base, so that's fine. There's, there's just some weird, weird glitch here. The lightnings. Now, you guys are in reserve because I think 
you don't have any missiles that you could carry. So I'm going to ask you guys to also try to get to the north there and we're going to set you up on a ferry mission and assign to the mission to go to the one place where we know that there's some ammunition and then launch you individually. Everyone else is sort of maintenance already anyway. Uh, you guys are going to be ready in 30 minutes so in fact let's actually ask you to be covering over Ukraine. Let's uh, launch you there. Let's double check in Italy. So our aircraft here are mostly rearming with the ground attack uh, stuff which I don't think necessarily is the best choice for you um, but especially you guys here should be if at all possible if at all possible let's let's get you rearmed heavily here and now I'm not sure whether the typhoons can actually do anything over here no it seems like like they just don't have the right right stuff that's unfortunate what are you guys carrying also the D variant it's alright we don't probably need to send too many planes over here but we could actually rearm you anyway right so let's actually do that let's grab all of you guys here and let's rearm you to a low standard I think if we get to a very we don't need to be having too many planes uh, too many missiles here so I think the light variant is going to be all right yeah let's let's do it yeah then you can be serviced and at least in three hours or so we could send um, further reserves over here we wouldn't have that many missiles but still would be kind of all right okay more more planes uh, doing their tours down there and it seems like something is going on here no but it is it is flankers so that's nothing completely new here it's so tempting just to try and sneak in and, and shoot down this this kind of uh, plane but again orders are orders and you don't mess with the nuclear power there's a landing over there nothing too too concerning about that Rammstein uh, do you have any aircraft here In 35 minutes you do have some uh, replacements, so we're going to launch them immediately when they can. Yeah, but other than that, it seems fine. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do here now, this is going to be then a bit of a short episode, but I'm going to put in a small cut here, and then I'm going to play again to find out whether they're going to do anything. And uh, try to just do sort of the normal kind of maintenance thing uh, in between episodes. So... Hope you enjoyed. Do leave a like and everything and let me know your thoughts down below. Bye bye guys.